So as you know, if you've been tuning in, every Saturday on my blog I do a random swatch fest. So I pick 10 polishes from my swatched folder, and then they're all polishes that haven't been featured on my blog in any way, and then I just um, put them out there on my blog, I let you know what I think about them, I let you know, I give them a grade, and then here on my channel I chit chat with you about them and then I give you a live application so that you can see what they look like. So they're not from um, all polishes from any particular collection or anything, they're just randomly pulled and yeah, we're going to have some fun with it. So let's start with my red polish. The red polish I have for you today is China Glaze Ruby Pumps. And it is just, um, it's kind of close to Dorothy Who. It's kind of that same idea. It's like, um, like Ruby Slippers kind of look. So it's very traditional, um, like just a red, really nice red, but tons of shimmer throughout. So that's what that one looks like. And it's a good two coater. Alright, so my pink polish, I have Nicole by OPI and it is called Best Pink Ever. And when I saw this polish, I said, that is a pretty hefty claim, so I knew I had to give it a try. Um, well, actually, what this pink is, is it's like a duochrome. It actually shifts kind of gold in there too. So um, yeah, it's I wouldn't say it's the best pink ever, but it's a really interesting pink. And especially if you like the shift. I don't know how well you can see that in the bottle there that it's shifting, but yes, it shifts. It's kind of like sunset. It's going from gold to orange to pink. So that's interesting. I have my orange shade is Seaside from the Color Club Sea Salt Collection. This is a textured polish. It is um, a shimmer texture, so it's not flat and it's not the metallic they put out. It's a shimmer. And actually, this one, um, the color is really nice, but I was slightly disappointed with it because um, it's not very textured, if that makes any sense. So you put it on and you've, there were like a few bumps here or there. But if you're gonna wear a texture polish, you want it to be really textured, right? Well, anyway, this one, um, it's a beautiful color, but um, yeah, that was just a funny thing about it. The, it wasn't very bumpy. <laughs> so anyway. Let's move along. My yellow polish for today is Sinful Colors on the Bright Side. Honestly, this is a really gorgeous yellow. It's not like too taxi cab and it's not, as you can see, it's not very pale. It's just a really nice um, medium yellow. It is very bright like it says and great two coater as always from Sinful Colors. My green polish for today is from the brand Spoiled by Wet n Wild. You can find these at um, CVS. This polish I have had for a few years now and I love it. It is this gorgeous um, seafoam, seafoam green color but it has silver shimmer running throughout it which I just think is a fabulous combination. So I love this one and you can pick them up for under $2 at CVS.
my blue for today is from the brand Bongo. I think I found this at Kmart and there's not a Kmart in my area anymore so um, I don't know if they're still selling them there but they were clearancing them when I picked this up for like 50 cents or something. But um, actually I haven't done my research on this brand to see if it's three free. Maybe that's why they're clearancing them because this was a one coater and it did not stain. For a dark blue that's pretty incredible. So um, yeah, I'm not sure about that but anyway. <laughs> This, oh, this color is called Kicking It. Alright, so for my purple, I have the bright, um, it's like tries to ride the line be between a pastel and a neon. Um, they're not really neon though, but it's from the Wet n Wild collection that was released of a bunch of primary colors. Really bright, and this is called Trippin' on the Boardwalk. First coat, I was disappointed. I was like, oh no, this is going to be horrible. Second coat, it totally made up for it. So, if you have yet to try these, um, wait to that second coat before you make a judgment on them. It was really nice. I really like the color. I have my neutral shade. Now this one, it's, I mean, neutral is the best place I could put it because it doesn't really have a particular color, but in the bottle it's like, um, it's like a deep, deep teal filled with gold, like packed with gold. But when you get it on the nail, it more just looks like a deep gray, but it's packed with gold, so it's like, it's like you're seeing the gray and the gold at the same time. I don't know, it's hard to explain, but, um, yeah, this one's really interesting. So, two coder. My glitter polish, I always feature one glitter polish. This is opipoca.com. This is from the Holland Collection from a little while ago. And I, no, 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 it's not from the Holland Collection. It's from the um, Europe Collection. Is that what it's called, Europe, touring through Europe? No, it's just the Eurocentral Collection. There we go. <laughs> it was in there, I just had to pull it out. The Eurocentral Collection, and it is a, um, it's a clear base and it has micro purple glitters in there and then it has larger hex glitters in the same color purple and in bright pink and in turquoise. And the combination is divine. It's what I have on my nails here today. I know it's not gonna autofocus because my um, Canon Rebel T3i does not autofocus for me but the swatch will show you what it looks like and I love this polish. So my A plus polish of the day, I'm having to shake up because I've had it for a little while, but um, how I pick my A plus polish is I just, it's either something that I swatched that week that I remember just being like, oh, this is so gorgeous, I cannot stop staring at it, I want to wear it all day, and, or it's something um, that when I'm looking through my swatches just really jumps out at me. So I've had this one for a while, so it's not recently swatched, but it is Orly Gumdrop, and it is just a beautiful seafoam green. If you can tell, I like that shade. Um, and it's almost a one coater, and for this shade, 
if that's really hard to make happen, but they do it and it's fabulous and you can find this polish at your Sally Beauty Supply because I believe it is in the base range. If you want to see what grade I gave the rest of the polishes, go to my blog, I'll uh, leave the link below, and you can find that there, and lots of other goodies. Make sure you follow me there, and I'm also on Tumblr, and then if you subscribe here, you can make sure to not miss a video. I post three videos a week. I usually do a tutorial on Tuesdays. I do like a random beauty or polish video on Thursdays, and then I have my Saturday Swatch Fest. So yeah! Join me and we'll have some fun. I hope to see you back next time and I hope you're having a great day. Bye.